YouTubers and welcome to my water heater. Never thought I'd get to say that. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to make laminated magnetic puzzles from leftover Lisa Frank calendar pages. Um, one of the updates in Silhouette Studio about 4.2 was a puzzle generator. So you can make puzzles in Silhouette Studio. So we're just going to make them magnetic and laminate them. So you can um, put them on, obviously, um, your fridge, things like that. Um, one of the few things that's magnetic in my basement is uh, my water heater. So that's why I displayed them over here today. But um, pretty quick to make. And I think this is just a fun little project. So let's go show you what you need. All right, so you're gonna need something to turn into a puzzle. Um, we're using, this is an old Lisa Frank calendar. Um, I loved her as a child, so we're gonna turn these into puzzle pieces. And then what we're using to do that is the Xyron, the Creative Station. Um, I love this thing. And it comes with different cartridges. And the one we're gonna use is, it's the laminate and magnetic one. So the top part is laminated and then the bottom part is magnetic. And so that's what we'll, we'll put our calendar page through and then that's what we'll cut so we can make it magnetic. And then it's laminated to make it a little more durable. And then, and then highly recommend a strong grip mat. Um, it's a lot of force and a lot of cutting. Highly recommend this. If you don't have, this is a brand new one because mine was really not strong. Um, highly recommend tape. If yours isn't honestly brand new, we still might tape this. Um, I also have a ratchet blade. Um, Ratchet blades tend to be my favorite because when the world isn't crazy and the blades are a little bit easier to find, these are relatively inexpensive and are really good for projects that are going to be a bit tough on the blade. Cutting these out, it's a, it's a lot of cutting, so it's probably going to dull your blade pretty quick. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't recommend using your favorite blade ever. Um, but this is a brand new one. My old one was giving me some trouble just not being sharp enough. So... Um, Relatively newish blade, not your favorite. And then we're going to use the Cameo 4, so I have the adapter. And you just pop this in, see the little fin, pop it in. Um, you can use any of the any of the Cameos, one, two, three, or four. Um, if you do use a one or a two, just make sure whatever you back the puzzle with isn't really, really thick because it doesn't have as much clearance as the four. So don't put anything too thick through the machine that the machine can't, that the machine can't get through. So keep that in mind. And then I've been using um, my self-healing cutting mat, uh, rotary cutter, and ruler. Um, you don't need all of this, but you're going to need something to measure and cut because we're going to have to trim it down a little bit before we put it on the mat. So a little bit of that. So. Um, let's go set up our page and then we will cut. All right. So the creative station is only nine inches wide. The, the big creative station is only nine inches wide. So, um, keep that in mind if you, um, when you do this, uh, so your picture, it can be longer, but it can only be nine inches wide. So I think we're going to use our little dolphins here and I've just been cutting them out and then trimming them down after I cut them out. All right, so we need this to be nine inches. So we're almost there. So a couple things to keep in mind. Um, don't get attached to anything that's really around the edge because it may get chopped off in the cutting process. So you wanna make sure your important part is in the middle if you can help it. Um, like the seal, and this writing right here, it may not make it through this. So I don't want you to get your heart set on some bubble right here and it not be there. Um, and I just trim this down to nine inches. You can totally do this with like a paper cutter or anything else, but as long as it's nine inches wide and yeah, we lost our writing. All right, so this is the nine inch um, creative station. 
from Zyron. I really like this thing. I don't use it that often, um, but it's great to have when you need it. And how it works is you have cartridges and this big plastic thing is the cartridge, this guy, and you can pull them in and out. Um, and there are different ones for whatever you need. Um, repositional adhesive, permanent adhesive. This is the laminate and magnetic one. There's also a laminating one. The nice thing is no batteries. The cartridges don't go bad. So you can buy them and they're like 10 feet long. So they last a long time. This guy will also take the smaller Xyron cartridges too. Um, so like I said, I don't use it all that often, but it's really, really nice when I do need it for something. And anytime you open it, you turn around and make sure that your cartridge is still coming through. So I think we're good. All right, so what you do is you take your, and for this method, we're limited to nine inches because that's how wide the Xyron is. Um, if you backed it with something else like cardboard or I don't know, anything else, um, you could make them potentially, you can make these puzzles as big as you wanted to. You can make a 12 by 24 if you wanted to, if you backed it with some kind of um, thin cardboard or paper. Um, now it would take forever to cut, but, but you could do it. All right. Push in far enough. So anytime you do a video and the camera's rolling, the weirdest things will happen that don't normally happen. So my dolphins turned into a unicorn because my dolphins ended up with wrinkles in the cartridge. Now this is a new cartridge and it seems to be more prone to happen. I thought I had run, um, I had done another one and it was fine, but occasionally they do get wrinkles in them. And obviously, cause it's a YouTube video and I want to do it right. If this was just for me, I totally just run this through my silhouette and we call it a day. But since y'all are watching, we are now doing a unicorn. So, and see this guy doesn't have any wrinkles. It seems to be a new cartridge problem. So, anywho. Um, and this is why another reason I said don't get attached to anything too close to the top. Sometimes they get skewed going through. And see, so I have extra down here and then I've got extra up here. But this is not going to, obviously is not magnetic. So it can't stick on my on my magnet surface. So it's going to get cut off when we cut. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is we are going to cut off any just real big extra. I like to leave a little bit around the edge so that we can tape it down to the mat. Um, I don't actually really know if I absolutely need to do that. That's a brand new mat but better safe than sorry. So. All right, so if you look at my mat, I put it down a little bit so I have room to tape, but um, so we are nine wide and then we're 10 tall. Seems to be the size for all of these for me. So I left room so we can tape and when we make our actual puzzle piece in the software over there, we're going to shrink it down so that we have a clean edge here and that we don't have any of the blocks showing. See, that's my day. Just enough. All right. So see, I just had the edges taped and we're going to go over to the software. All right. So we're in Silhouette Studio. This is just standard 12 by 12 mat. Um, we are using 4.3.370, which, um, is not the newest one, they're on version 4.4, but this is currently a stable one. I also don't have a Cameo Plus or Pro, I just have a standard four, so I don't need to upgrade. So this is the version we are using. Um, to get the puzzle feature, you would need to use 4.2 or later, that's when the puzzle um, upgrade came in. And then you would also need to have either Designer Edition Plus or Business Edition. Um, to have the puzzle piece. If you have just designer edition, it won't be there. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and draw a rectangle. It doesn't really matter how big it is. And we're gonna come over to the transform panel and our scale tool here. And we're gonna make it nine wide and 10 tall. And 
end. We're going to put it roughly here-ish because that's where it was on our mat when we stuck it. So now what I've just been doing is kind of eyeballing it and making it a little bit smaller by keeping it in that general area to make sure I get the clean lines. Um, granted, it isn't the end of the world if you end up with a little bit of the black magnet showing, but in an attempt to have clean lines, that's kind of how I've been doing it and winging it a little bit. Um, you can be much more precise with this just if you want to and measure it to death. I kind of just don't. Um, all right, so we're gonna go over to our puzzle piece here. And with, uh, make sure that your um, puzzle, your rectangle is selected and puzzle select shape and hit it and it'll put in your puzzle pieces for you. Now from here, you can put in quite a number of rows and quite a number of columns, but keep in mind, yeah, you can put in quite a lot, but keep in mind, the more that you put in, the longer it's gonna take to cut. And this, this takes a minute to cut on its own. And it also, isn't the nicest thing to do to your blade. So keep that in mind when you're cutting. My last puzzle took about 25 minutes to cut. So um, just be aware of that. And then you can make them straight or you can have them be curvy. Um, and then you can mess with the curve. You can mess with the ripple and then the wobble. <laughs> and then you can randomize your pieces so that you get different looks if you wanted to. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you could also print and cut this too if you wanted to, but print and cut is print and cut. So that's why we're just kind of eyeballing it. Now, um, I've been using magnet back, magnet paper adhesive back. Um, and then uh, um, it's actually is an auto blade, it's just a ratchet blade. Um, and since I'm using the Cameo 4, it knows all of this and it knows I'm using a ratchet blade. If not, just select it and then cut. And then it's a force of 33 and a speed of 1 and it's two passes. And that's the two passes that makes it really um, take a while. And then I've been setting it at a blade of 8. Now the one big variable with this is I'm using calendar paper, which is relatively thin. If you are using some heavy backed cardstock, um and you printed it, it would be, uh, it would take more. So it might take multiple passes to get cut through everything. Um, so just know that, know that um, the paper's kind of the variable here and we're gonna test it when it gets done. And if it's not um, cut all the way through, then we are going to redo it and run it through again for another two passes. So. Uh, the computer is saying it is going to be 19 minutes to cut. All right, so it's done cutting, and see, I haven't unloaded it. It's still in my, um, it's still in my cameo. Um, before you take it out, peel some of it up and make sure that it's cut. If it hasn't, or if it's not cut enough that you can peel it apart, um, send it back through. Um, you can increase the blade. Um, we used a blade of eight. You could increase it to a 10, um, increase it to a 10 or whatever it is you want to, um, and send it back through again and have it cut again. All right, so here we are out. Let's see how close we got over here. Oh, pretty close. Check that out. So here we go. Alrighty, so we did get a little bit of the black magnet showing, but nothing too bad. And now you're just going to come back in here and take apart your puzzle pieces. The magnet doesn't like cut completely clean. So what I do is I just take apart, I just take the pieces apart. Once I'm done cutting. It's my little pieces. And they come apart pretty well.
Alrighty, so there is our finished puzzle. There are our little pieces. It does look a little bit better on a magnetic surface. It looks a little rough here. Um, now, in all honesty, I probably should have cut this on a blade of 10. Um, we ended up with a couple places that um, the magnet didn't cut clean. So a blade of 10 probably would have done a little bit better and uh, maybe three passes. But that's kind of one of the givens with this is because the paper is a variable. You never really quite know. So, but it did come apart. It's just a little rougher than it probably could have been, um, being a bit of a perfectionist. But you have a puzzle. And I think it's really great that it's magnetic and it's laminated so it's actually usable. And you can put it up on your kitchen. And um, you can make these really hard. You can put in a bunch of rows and columns. Um, you could also do these to be educational if you wanted to. Um, with some kind of puzzly educational thing. I don't know. Anywho, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can leave comments down below. And I will be back with another video soon. Thank you so much for watching.